at Pam's Stitchy Corner. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, um, if you're new, thank you for coming. Please like and subscribe. Um, thank you for all the other ones that's been here since the beginning. Um, I just want, today is June 12th after 10 o'clock. I just got off of work 10 o'clock at night. And it's been a while since I made a video, so I wanted to do an update on some of the things I've been working on. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much, I've been busy working and just life stuff. And I was supposed to go to the doctor tomorrow, but it got canceled because there was a death in the family with the doctor. So, pray for the family. And, um... But they went ahead and kept my next appointment for next week. So I'm going to go next Tuesday to the doctor. Just pray for me because I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I just need prayers um, until I find out all the information before I say anything. Because it's just weighing real heavy on me right now. But besides that, everything's been good. The weather's been good. The kids are good. Um, Josue's working a lot. My 21-year-old. His birthday's next month on the 7th. So we're preparing to figure out what he wants to do for his birthday. Um, Jasmine's cousin, cousin's in town this week. Hi, if you're watching. Because I know that the kids watch my videos. But, um, yeah. Other than that, I've just been trying to keep my mind focused on getting some of my cross stitching done sorry notification came up um i'm on my phone and i still got on this um phone holder so hopefully that'll work out I'm trying to get it off my bed my dresser <laughs> um but yeah hopefully it'll work so let me go on and um talk about what i've been doing this month so far um I decided I was going to start using a planner and go through some events on Facebook groups. Mostly it's um, two groups that I'm following real good. I mean, I'm not good at posting much on either one of them, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to get better because I don't really get on Facebook that much. So I got a planner and I'm going to work events that they post. And try to get some of these whips done and start some patterns that I'm really dying to start this year to um, hopefully put some more stitches in my haids because I gotta get that into rotation too because I got so many whips and so many haids <laughs> and there's a tilton in there that I want to get into for Halloween because my son loves it and if I get it done I may um, frame it for him because he he fell in love with it. It was a, a rake. Thank you. You know who you are. Um, I love it. And he fell in love with it. And he said, stitch it up for me. I said, why don't you pull it out and stitch it? Because I got the fabric and the floss already for it. It's just sitting there waiting for me to get it started. But I hate starting something when I got like 20 or plus whips already. And I start little ones to take to work because I get the little ones done faster. But anyway. Um, I'm going to go through here and go through everything I've done since the, uh, I started um, recording things in here on the 7th of this month, but I do have some finishes I'll show you. First of all, I am going to show my FFO, yes, an FFO. <clears throat> so, as you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, I am doing the Country Cottage Needleworks uh, Cottage of the Month series. And so far I have August. And I don't remember the fabric names, but... I'm trying to find something pretty bad on there. This is July. Excuse me, i got a board right here I can put behind it. This one is July. And this is the next one I'm going to FFO. But the only thing I changed out on this one is the thread. 
is um sparkly. See? Kind of looks like firework. Yep. That's the only thing I changed out on that one. None of the other ones I changed things. It's like it was, but so I got July and August, and then I did April. And I FFO'd April and I put it on a um on a wooden frame with the metals so I could do like the Priscilla and Chelsea um finishings like they do with the magnets so I could change it out each month. So I finally found something I wanted to to use for it. I'm still up in air adding more decorations to it, but this is what I got so far. I put it on my um, Instagram and my Facebook page um, when I got it done. I found this fabric. At first, I didn't have this back one with the the plaid or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just did these two, and then I added the this trim to it, the rick rack, and I said, "Well, I want to add another fabric," but I could not ever find any gingham of purple. So, I went to Walmart the other day and found this. And that's what I used for the backing of that one. And I also want to take a little bit of this and cover a button and put it right here in the middle. So that way it'll, I mean it's a wooden button, it would look nice just with the wooden button. But I want to pop a color right here. <clears throat> so, I'm going to cover it with the fabric later when I get a chance. Oh, I just dropped the button, but yeah. But like I said, magnet on the back of this one so I can change it out and there's a magnet. I use a big magnet on that one. <clears throat> but it holds and I'm happy with it. Um, I don't know if I should add more. I think when April comes and I pull out all my decorations for Easter or whatever, I'll probably add some more stuff to it you know, when it comes time, but those two will go together, and I'm going to work on July this week, so I can get it done for next month, and hang it up in the house, so that's that, I'm going to put those over here, I got so many finishes on my table, my room is a mess, I'm trying to get my finishes done, I'm going to put that over there, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> so with that, I got some, um, FOs, some finishes. So I've been working on lo uh, Antique Locks and Keys by Shakespeare Peddler. And this is my finish. It is on 28 count Raspberry Light Joblin. And I love this fabric. I am thinking of something that I want to do with it because I was wanting to put it in a pillow but then I was like well that's a pretty big pillow to put in a dough bowl or something and I don't want people to like touch it when they come to the house or whatever I was thinking of doing something different but I did have the trim I'm going to put on it but I got an idea and I've got to go buy the other piece to it and then I'll have something where I can hang it on the wall but I do have an idea for it, but I'm just waiting to go buy the piece and see if it'll go with something else that I want to put with it. So that was that one. And that was the Locks and Keys Shakespeare's Peddler. And, yep. Next finish is Little House Needleworks Early Americans Number no. 1 Betsy Ross. Now, when I first got it, I said, no, I'm just going to do all um, pillows for the Dobo. Then I seen somebody else had done all these series on one fabric and framed it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. But then I'm like, framing cost, <laughs> you know. So, I'm, I'm still going to do these individual, individually, <laughs> excuse me. But when um, later I'll buy a big enough fabric and just add them one to the fabric and see what I'm going to do about framing it. You know, I, I just got to have it all in one frame and I can hang it out. And it doesn't matter if you got double pieces, you know, everywhere, but yeah, I like that one. So 
Let me grab my board again. Here's that one. Betsy Ross. Now I, I want to show you. I started it on this fabric. I don't know the name of it. But, yeah, I'll look at that. I would have done it on this one, but my eyes was failing me. And I was like, no, forget it. I'm not going to do it. So, I got this one. I had it reserved for the monthly cottages, the rest of them. But I went ahead and used it. And it's 28 Even Weave Lagana. And I got it on sale for $1.97 at one of the box stores. And... I said, well, screw it, and I just used the piece because I wanted to get it done. I, I don't know. Is it too big? It, I, I don't, I'm thinking it's too big for a pillow, maybe, but I'm going to go ahead and do it as a pillow. And they have trim, and I went to the store, excuse me, and it's not quite the right trim, but I'm going to use it anyway. Let's see what's on this one. Not that one. It was this trim. But I'm going to use this for the trim and put some patriotic fabric on the back. So, yeah, that's that one. I didn't do any changes, just the fabric change. And I think I might have made it bigger when I changed the fabric. But that one's that one. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that one. Put these colors up. I'm, excuse me, I'm trying to go through here. Excuse me as I get my book. So after all my finishes and everything, I decided to start writing in my book, which I got all my information in here that I want to talk about. So one event was the Stitch Along, and with the Stitch Along from the 7th to the 9th of this month, it's to stitch 500 stitches on whatever whip you're going to do. So I decided to pull out my Heaven and Earth Magical Rival. And I put, I filled in this and so it's worked down. So it's basically doing that. And from here on, that's the rest of the page I got left on this page. And then I'll start doing another one. Um, I didn't get to the 500 stitches. I only got 488, yes. It was that close, but I had to go to work. So I had to get ready and go to work, and I couldn't get the rest of the stitches in. So I didn't post a, a picture on the group because I didn't make the 500. <clears throat> so I, I just didn't post another picture. But I do have an ear. <laughs> well, not an ear. That's the wing. But because it's supposed to be a dragon in a stocking, and I don't have the picture with me, I don't think. I may have. Yeah. Hold on. It's right here. There it is. So, I've just got the tip of the wing right here. But that's what it's going to be. Magical arrival. And I decided I'm going to work on this whenever they have the stitch alongs um, for the rest of the year. Or whenever I have empty days or challenges to do I'm going to do it on this piece because I need to get it done and right now I'm on different categories that doesn't have this in it which I'll explain to that what I mean <laughs> so yeah I only got 488 stitches and I'm trying to keep up with my stitches daily stitches and then total week or total event stitches through that vent event I can't even talk today and then my travel whip has been the Bessie Ross, which I finished. And then um, on the 10th of Monday, they have uh, on Cross Stitch Finish Line, they're doing the engagement part two. I didn't get to part one because I didn't have time that week to participate in that one. But in part two, from the 6th to the 14th, they're doing something new. And I decided to pick up, um, come on, I'm sorry I didn't pull it out of my bag. Let me get in there and pull it out. Because I've been working on this one. I'm going to show it to you now, and then I'm going to try to do another video, um, Sunday or Monday, and show you the, 
my week's progress every week. Y'all gonna be mad at me. I gotta open it up. Yeah, one more. I got on my cue stamp. So, <clears throat> I decided to do the vintage animals for that sow. <clears throat> Excuse me, because it's a newer um, start. So I decided to do that one. It's from Jeanette Douglas Designs. I'm doing it on... I already showed this in a video, though. Um, 36 Count Legacy Edin Edinburgh. So, this is what I've got on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what i got so far. I've been working on it a little bit tonight at work. <clears throat> so that's what I got. Um, with this event starting Monday, I started on this bird, worked up here at everything shifting that way. From the bird, this right here, this motifs up here in the letters, and that. That's the A I'm working on. But that's what I've gotten so far since Monday so that's what I got I love this fabric and I love this um, pattern so much that oh and I put in Monday I put in 309 stitches but I'll give a total stitches after I do the whole event but I didn't do any yesterday and then I did some today <clears throat> but I love this pattern so much. I decided I was going to get the, and I'm showing hauls, <laughs> the Vintage Birds by Jeanette Douglas. So I'm going to work on that one. And I got the same uh, fabric, the, the one I'm working on, 36 Count Legacy Edinburgh. And I'm going to do that later. Uh, some of my haul that I'll show you. But yeah, but that's what it's going to look like. Uh, vintage animals. Okay, let me move that out of the way. Oh, and I also got it in this... I'm not sure you didn't see nothing. I got this bag for $10 on Etsy from one of the ladies. Um, I think I got some... Um, needle minders with her. And Jasmine made this sign for Mother's Day. You gotta see it. It's so cute. And I put it in my bag and I, it's supposed to be like to decorate the front. Mom, it's a card. It's for both sides. Got the same thing on it. But she made me that for Mother's Day. Thank you, Jasmine, if you're watching. So, let me move my stuff around. So, with that, that's with the engagement part two. And then on the same um, group, I'm doing the, um, from the 10th to the 12th, they're doing Forgotten Sal Sal, which I did do this Sal on that group. I did it with another group, but I never did finish it because I put it aside and just actually forgot about it. So, um, I decided to pull it out and work on it, and it is a dimensions kit, and I put it in my peacock bag I made. So this is it. It is the Indian Peacock Dimensions. And I pulled it out. And as I said, I worked on it. I didn't work on it Monday. Because I didn't have time. It was a busy day. So I worked on it yesterday. And I'm going to work on it some more when I get done with the video. So here's what it looks like. And what I did yesterday was fill in the face right here. And then do this spray of feathers on the top of its head. I was almost done with this. I had one more color and I'd be done with it, but I didn't get it done. My peacock. It's kind of heavy, so it falls around. But that's what I got on it. And I love it. It's coming out so beautiful. I love the color changes. It uses like two different colors that you put together. What do you call it? And that's what takes me time is getting those colors together everything but yeah that's beautiful but I can't wait to put some more in it because I've done 
255 yesterday, 255 stitches. But tonight is the last night for it, so I'm going to have to put some more stitches in it before I turn it, take a picture and turn it in, I guess you'd say. So I'll show you more of it next week when I make a video of this week. So what else is for this week? Home Sweet Home is on the 13th through the 15th. It's a Home Sweet Home sale. I work on something with a house on it. So I have two things that I need to work on with the Cottage of the Month. So I got um, June and May. I don't have any the other months yet. So I'm going to work on June since this is June. And whenever I get done with this, this will be the next one I work on. And like I said, I'm going to do it on um, 28 Even Weave L Lugana. I'm going to work on that one. I've got the threads for it. I went to the store and got the threads. Um, sorry about my arms. If I need more fabric with the rest of the months, I did pick out the 28 Even Weave, 28 Ivory. That'll do the rest of it on that. So, let's see. That gets us to Sunday. And then, like I said, Sunday and Monday, I'll do a video. Now, Sunday's nothing down for an event. So, I'm thinking Santa Sunday and do something Christmas-wise. But I think that might be being at Santa. And it is stocking. I may work on my stocking that day because... Next month is Christmas in July, and I want to start on something else, and I'll show that later, but for Christmas. For my other chickadee, so that is what I'm going to be working on for the rest of the week, which would be the Indian Peacock tonight, because yesterday and today was the, no, it was three days, three days on the Indian Peacock. And then this whole week is the vintage animals I'm going to be working on. And then um, tomorrow I'll do the June cottage. And to be honest, I probably won't be able to start it because I got double shifts tomorrow. Um, then, oh, and the 14th, I got another Facebook group. I don't know if they want me to say their name, but they're going to do a events on theirs and I'm going to work on the June cottage on that one to get extra play on that one <laughs> um let's see but yeah that's all week the rest of this week and then I'll come back and make a video um Sunday or Monday whenever I whatever day is the slowest for me and I'll make a video and post what I'm going to do what I've done this week and then what I'm going to do next week so hopefully this won't take long to upload, and I wish you all well, and have a great night, and happy stitching. If you're drinking wine, drink some for me, because I don't have any wine, and I don't think I want to drink any whiskey right now. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Happy stitching!